Well, we're on the road. <laughs> Finally. Finally. Day one of travel, and we already got problems. Yeah. We blowed out our flux capacitor. It's not a flux capacitor. We, <laughs> the regular capacitor. Look, I say add node rod. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> and I say flux capacitor, that's, okay? That's true. You do you. Okay. All right? My bad. <laughs> we blowed out our flux capacitor on our air conditioner, the air conditioner on our bedroom. So we got a guy coming to fix that tomorrow, mm -hmm. but it's still under warranty, so not terrible, but, uh, you know. But anyway, um, so we would not have been where we are if it had not been for the Rona. Yeah, that's true. We would never change be here. our plan. So now we are in Augusta, Georgia. We mm -hmm. did not plan to be here, but um, uh, our modified plans brought us through here on our way up to North Carolina. And so we're at the Finzi? It, it's Finizzi. Finizzi. Some, With a PH. Yeah. <laughs> Swamp. There's a bunch of areas to walk through, a bunch of different critters yeah. that we could potentially see. So if you're into nature, hang out. We'll try to see if we can see some cool stuff. And then we're going to just go um, try to explore Augusta as much as we can. Anything cool? Bugs. Lots of bugs. Dragonfly landed on you? Dragonfly landed. Almost on. killed you. He he literally latched on. He didn't let go. Like like bite or like just with his hands? Like with his hands. Like Oh wow. Well. He wouldn't let go of my shorts. So I was like, go away and he was like mm. <laughs> He was how'd I go again? He was like what? <laughs> <laughs> We're lost. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. What? It's not... I know, it's true. It's, oh, um, I think I see eagles. Oh, on that nest? Yep. Yeah. But, um, I'm going to show you the eagles. I'll zoom in on them, but we're seriously lost. <laughs> uh, they have maps. We chose to not get a map. And we chose poorly. <laughs> and Leslie's still getting attacked by every bug. Yeah. And um, we haven't seen anything super exciting yet, but I think there's eagles up there, which we'll show yeah. you here in a second. And then um, uh, if we have any signal in here, I'll pull up uh, the Google Maps. The Google. And see if we can navigate ourselves out well, of here. Well, what's confusing is the path brings you out. To a road. But then it forks. And if you look down both of them, they go for an awful long way. We got forked. <laughs> So it's like, do you pick one or do you just well, that's why go we backwards? Got, we got to get on the Google. Because you want to get all the way out there. and We're already already way out there. <laughs> we're, we don't get way out. There's like a field of swamp. Let me it show is. you. There's a swamp. field of swamp. We should go from up there. There's like this little uh, porch that we're on right now, which seems like a safe place. <laughs> that's why we stopped to film here because I don't want to be out there where I can't see what's coming around. Um, but uh, yeah, we're lost. We're staying at Fort Gordon's Army Recreation mm -hmm. Resort. Yes. RV campground <laughs> picnic slash marina. <laughs> it is a marina. It is. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to seriously include everything because I <laughs> want to remember everything.
Tell everybody what you're eating. Frozen cocktail. <laughs> I know why you're laughing. Stop it. What? It's because of what I said. It's a, it's a it's an adult frozen pop. Yeah. Mine is uh, modern mango. What flavor you got? I have pink lemonade. Pink lemonade. It contains alcohol. They're like frozen, frozen pops like you had as a kid, mm -hmm. but in adult flavors and uh, alcohol. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, we got these at a, a local grocery store back in uh, Alabama. Might have, should have bought more. <laughs> Relax. Hey, you probably get waste on these and I didn't realize it because it happened probably. so fast. Yeah. But um they're yummy. Very refreshing. They are um Claffy's frozen cocktail. I'll have to look for them. It's good. Tropical Paradise goes where the party is. Adults only. Old flavor smacks you in the smacker. In the smacker. <laughs> Well, Augusta has a lot of history. Um, behind us is the boyhood home of President Woodrow Wilson. Don't ask me which number he was either. I don't, <laughs> I don't either. We'll have to look it up. <laughs> but it's pretty cool to see. Um, I don't know if they're going to let us inside because of the Rona. Yeah. Uh, it looks kind of dark in there. But we're going to go try anyway. Uh, another little bit of history. Uh, James Brown. Yeah. Is from Augusta? Yeah, I didn't know that. So there's a little bit of history and maybe we'll show some of that. This is James Brown. Ow! I wonder if that's actual size. He looks pretty tiny. He, he wasn't a tall guy. I don't know if that, that can't be actual size. That's yeah, like a little sure it's not. dude, but that's pretty cool. There's yeah. a little microphone and stuff, so uh, we'll get a selfie. We'll throw it up on our social media. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's some other cool stuff around here, so we'll walk around downtown a little bit. Today we're at the Savannah Rapids Pavilion. Yes. I don't know what this place is. <laughs> it was recommended by some neighbors at the yeah. campground. Yeah. And they said it's a pretty cool place where you like walk and bike and kayak and has some good scenery. And yeah. It's overcast today, so that's good. So, so it's not going to be super help, hot. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go humid, down. It's humid, but. Yeah. That's Georgia. 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 <laughs> Don't get me started. I know. God. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Well, that's Savannah Rapids Pavilion and Canal Park. Park. Yes. I knew I was forgetting something. I just looked at it on my phone too, and then I forget a word. Yeah. Ever happened to you? No. Um, anyway, it's a pretty cool park. Uh, great walking trails. Mm -hmm. There's lots that we didn't walk down. Yeah. They have kayak rentals and canoe rentals. Bike and rentals. But yeah, bicycles. I mean, you can rent all that stuff. You can hang out. You could be here all day. Yeah. There's beautiful scenery. Mm -hmm. Great picture taking opportunities. And my favorite part was they had a, a tribute to a fallen soldier. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, see that. yeah, we'll probably uh, add him at the, at the end of one of our videos. Maybe this one. So mm -hmm. I'll look, look him up and, and do a little research on him. But it was really cool to see uh, out here at a public park that they have a little yeah. fallen soldier static display in a monument and um, it's not super busy out here I think that's probably because of the Rona but uh, <laughs> something cool to do and it's totally free yeah. unless you want to rent some stuff then yeah. it's you know whatever the price is up in the kayaks were like $10 an hour uh, for the single and then $15 an hour for the, the double we didn't look at the bikes but I'm sure it's not Terrible. super expensive yeah. uh, but if you want to spend an hour or two out here 
biking and kayaking you can do it for, for pretty cheap and it's just a beautiful area yeah very pretty let's we'll see what else we can get into in augusta right. oh we're in harlem georgia <laughs> people honking <laughs> we're in harlem georgia at the um the columbia theater which was the first movie theater in columbia county in yes. georgia and harlem georgia is about 20 miles outside of augusta and the significance of it is it is the home of oliver hardy from laurel and hardy and now inside the columbia theater is the laurel and hardy museum uh, which is a pretty cool place it's uh we just went through there it's, it's a little small place yeah it's not very big uh, but you know we spent about a half hour in there they had little stuff from their history and their past and uh and they they play films yeah in the back you can there. go watch cool. clips yeah. little shorts from laurel and hardy <laughs> it's cool history uh from the area Surprise! So We're at a cemetery, scary. but for a good reason. Yeah, uh, we heard that there are like Civil War, Revolutionary Ocean War, War. And, and I think the War of eighteen twelve. Yeah, War of eighteen twelve. What they list. Soldiers are buried here in the Magnolia Cemetery mm -hmm. in Augusta, Georgia. Downtown, so we're gonna go yeah. see if we can find some of those graves from from those uh, old wars, yeah. old campaigns. Uh, yeah, and, that's definitely all around it's an old cemetery yeah way old creepy there's headstones no new and headstones stuff, around so. here yeah let's go explore all right so behind us here is uh you can see the confederate flag flying in the background because this is the area where um confederate soldiers from the civil war are buried mm -hmm. and um you know most of them don't even have uh dates or anything yeah it just says their name and what state they uh they fought out of yeah so uh civil war casualties from this from this area from the confederate side obviously because we're in georgia yeah. they all fought yeah. for the confederacy so we'll show you a couple of those yeah a lot of these aren't even weren't even enlisted men or in the military they were militia yeah so they were just in their eyes protecting their state yeah so they would uh you know form yeah. their little militias and, and and fight they fought in the civil war but they weren't soldiers and um yeah that's crazy and I mean, Civil War was the most casualties of any war in America, obviously, yeah. because it's Americans killing Americans. So you're gonna have way more casualties than you do any other other war, because other wars we fought other countries, yeah. uh, so we're killing ourselves and stuff. But um, yeah, regardless of which side uh, people people fought on, uh, we always uh, still come pay our respects because and you know, both sides they fought and they died if for nothing else. They believed for, in what they were fighting yeah. for, right or wrong. They believed in it. Yeah, and. Um, so if for nothing else uh, we learned from it yeah. and um so that's good um it sucks that people had to die for that mm -hmm. for us to learn and well i mean you see there's still craziness going on right now in the world still learning. and we ain't learned everything that we should have learned <laughs> but uh hopefully we were learning well we've never ran across anything like this no this is the first this little area right we're in right here it's a orphanage it said an orphanage asylum yeah so i don't know if it's just an orphanage or they just used asylum back then or if this was like kids who had had behavioral mental health issues but all the rest of the headstones are kids and yeah. it's like 10 years old five years old Four one year old. old i mean yeah it's oh man it's creepy and they all die like in the 1800s super yeah. old so we'll have to look up the um the augusta the orphanage yeah. asylum or Augusta Orphan Asylum. That'd be horrible to think if you just had like a crazy kid and you just dropped them off and left them. Yeah. Well, we'll show you what, what this looks like right here. And um, let's we'll see if we can look up anything on the history of it. Yeah. Well, I think this is another first Yeah. for us. Uh, we kept driving down the, in the cemetery and this whole area is devoted to uh, service members who fought in the Spanish-American War. Yeah. 
I don't think we've I ever don't think seen we've come across one like that. Any Spanish American War. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. And there's a decent little handful, probably a, a dozen or so. And so that's pretty cool. Yeah. And these are like 1800s, early 1900s. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Very cool. Very cool place. Crazy cool cemetery. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't know if you're into cemeteries, but. You learn a lot. We just learn so much. Love exploring <laughs> cemeteries. It's just, it's just fascinating to me the history of it, especially the military history. Yeah. When you see, I mean, we've seen like Civil War Medal of Honor yes. recipients. Yeah. Now we've seen, um, we were at Andersonville a couple weeks ago for Memorial Day, where we saw, yeah. where we saw I um, found that um, Revolutionary War. Revolutionary War. We saw, and that was a a Confederate. POW camp so you saw a lot of Union mm -hmm. soldiers mm -hmm. that were buried there who were POWs and now down here we're seeing the Confederate uh, so up there we were seeing like you know uh, Massachusetts New Ohio. York Ohio all the northern Some states Virginia. and now down here we're yeah. seeing Alabama Florida Georgia, Georgia. Texas Mississippi, Mississippi. Yeah. South Carolina Louisiana. yeah so it's crazy to see both sides of that and now to see the Spanish American we've all all we've seen a lot of World War One World War Two Vietnam yeah Korea but it's crazy to get even deeper yeah. and older. So mm -hmm. just cool to us, uh, may not be your thing, but I mean, just go look at a cemetery, man. There's just a ton of history, not just but military history. Our history. Yeah, <laughs> and not just military history, but there's just a ton of history. We saw town history from places that we've been. Yeah. Uh, we just saw town history from here. We saw the mayor from 1910 I mean, to 1912 yeah. um, and people, the orphanage here, yeah. uh, which is still running yeah. in Augusta. We didn't talk about that anymore, but it's still going. It's now it's under the uh, the name of the uh, the doctor uh, Tuttle. Tuttle. Yeah, so it's named for him now, and um, just a ton of history, man. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm sure there's a ton more. We we saw just a couple little I sections. Just barely scratched the. And this is one town. Yeah. <laughs> so go said, yeah. check out check your out your town cemetery. <laughs> Every time we drive into the Army Resort, the campground, we see this little brick wall here yeah and we're like well we gotta see what it is but the last couple times it's been raining, raining or yeah. whatever so uh we figured we stopped this time and it turns out it is a small cemetery just our luck <laughs> we didn't come to a cemetery on purpose we thought it was like an old cabin or something because of the little wall but it like, had a placard like a landmark thing yeah so we like, like a historic like, landmarker thing yeah. this guy right here <laughs> and it talks about uh, the hardin family and they said that ha the hardin family was with some of the original founding family members of of the county of here. the county here Columbia County which we already talked about the Columbia um, theater mm -hmm. and um, so the Hardin family is is buried here we'll show you some of the graves back here and we'll show you the plaque uh, but yeah uh, way back in 1800s 1700s so these graves are, are really are old. old but it's cool to see yeah So you can't you can't read them, but by process of elimination, uh, that you can read this one that says R J, and on the other side of it is Mary. You can barely read this one that says Thomas. So this one Gracie. is Gracie by default. You can't read the top of it, but it has to be Gracie because there's only four people buried in here. Well, we are finally able to meet up with people again. Yeah. And we're going to meet up people. with our first people today <laughs> back on the road and meeting up with people. We're going to be meeting up with Smokey and Jesse from Live and Learn RV. Yep. They're from the Augusta area and they do a bunch of camping and stuff in this area. Yeah. State parks and Corps of Engineers spots and they do a bunch of RV how-to stuff. Mm -hmm. So they seem like cool people. Uh, so we're really excited to see people. <laughs> so we're gonna head into town and we're gonna have dinner with uh, Smokey and Jesse and uh, we'll introduce you to them here in a little bit. Well, we finally got to meet up with people. <laughs> Don't which, call us people, people suck. <laughs> which was so much fun. So we were with, uh, with uh, Smokey and Jesse from Live and Learn RV. So tell us a little about, about your channel guys. Uh, we're part-timers. Uh, we try to cover state parks, county parks, uh, hopefully in the future Corps of Engineering parks uh, around this part of the southeast, uh, showing how if you can't live the sort of wanky-danky full-time <laughs> lifestyle, yeah. there, is, there is adventure to be found uh, close to home. That's right. Yeah, for sure. Well, we enjoy watching you guys' channel, yeah. and we've enjoyed hanging out with you and 
thanks so much for coming out to dinner with us tonight and hanging out and um if uh well they're putting out pretty good stuff so you go check it out but don't take our word for it <laughs> uh, we'll put a link down in the description of this video below so go and check out live and learn rv and uh thanks for having us out guys we appreciate it thanks for yeah, up with us thank you like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero we appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time bye, bye.